This is Unsigned on 96.9 Radio Humber. Hi, I'm Nicholas Fiore. Today we are in Studio L106 at the Humber College North Campus in Toronto. And today we are with Alexi Kuto, a local singer-songwriter from Brampton who is signed by Knockout Entertainment Music Management. How are you today, Alexi? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, is this the first time you've been at Humber College? This is the first time I've ever been here. And you walk through the halls, so how do you like it so far? I actually thought it was very, like, as soon like, we were walking down the halls carrying the piano. It was very diverse. Um, you and your friend over here were, like, talking to people, saying, hey, so it seemed like a very welcoming um, and friendly community. Now, growing up, uh, what were your inspirations, both musically and in the overall general aspect? Well, ever since I was little, I guess I can thank my parents for starting, you know, me young with karaoke. We would always, you know, when there's family parties, it was karaoke time, and I would gravitate right to any Celine Dion song. So I would say Celine Dion was my top, like, idol as a little girl growing up and singing. And then I also, I have inspiration, inspiration such as um, Sarah Bareilles, um, Alicia Keys, and right now, Demi Lovato is huge for me. Now, do those people have influences influences in you um, for getting into playing the piano? And if so, why is the piano your favorite instrument to pretty like to play? Uh, well, actually, piano I started before I was singing. So I started when I was three years old, and I just had a little keyboard. And obviously, when you're little, you're just like blah 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 playing. But my parents just saw me always gravitating towards that. Like, obviously there are other instruments, but that's just what I went straight to. And then when I turned eight, they were like, hmm, I guess like she really loves playing the piano. We're not forcing her to do it. She just really has a passion for it. So they bought me my first baby grand piano and that is like by everything right there. That's so basically I mean. the piano is what started you getting into the yeah. music and wanted to say, okay, I want to do music in yeah, the future. like that's like anytime I needed to release something, piano. Anytime I wanted to fun piano. Anytime I was sad, piano. Like so. Now, with that being said, you just came out with another original song called "Colorblind." You said this song has a meaning close to your heart. Could you explain what that is? So this song, I was um, inspired by all the tragedies happening around the world. So. Specifically, what really, really pushed it was um, it was a few days after the tragedy that happened in Paris, that, that attack, and I was just, I really, I could, like, whenever I turn on the news, something was, people were talking about it, family members, and I was just struck. And I'm a very emotionally connected singer-songwriter, so stuff like that just really, like, hits me, and I'm like, okay, I can write a song about this because I want other people to hear it and feel something, too. So Colorblind is about, you know, we're all one race, even though the, there's so many different colors painted on everyone, or there's colors painted around the world, we're all one. I just really want everyone to see that we can ch make a difference in this world, if, even if it's just the tiniest bit of, you know, hope or, like, happiness that, you know, a person has. So basically, when, when stuff happens like that in the world, you say, and you get the confidence and say, you know what, I could do this, I can write something about this, let's just get a pen to the paper and just keep on writing and see what happens? That's exactly what happened. It was uh, actually the night before I went to New York, which is where another part of my management is, and I go to record there sometimes, and it was the night before we were going there, and I was like, you know what, it was like one in the morning, but I was like, I know how you sleep, but like this is just on my mind so I started writing and then in about probably 40 minutes or so I was almost done writing it so I'm like I want to record this when I get to New York and within that full weekend we recorded the music video recorded the song and it, it only took you 40 minutes yeah. to write that song because I'm telling you I'm just so emotionally connected to writing music it's once like I have all the feelings like it just like it just comes right And out. once you get going, you just, you can't, can't stop Alexi, can you? Can't. <laughs> so now, like, with that being said, you have all of these, you have so much songs out, and you're only going to get bigger and better. Do you see yourself walking onto the Juno stage one day and accepting a Juno Award for your music? Well, I can only hope. Like, 
I know any musician would say Grammys is top notch, but even like I would say Juno's is something. It could be. It's as well, the Canadian same based, level. right? Yeah, I would say it's as the same level because I'm a Canadian artist. I grew up here, and to have people vote for me from my own place, like that would be amazing. Man, what what would that mean to you? I mean, even not even maybe winning, but even get that nomination. Mm -hmm. Once you you know make it and you're there, and to get the nomination, what would that really mean to you? It would mean that all the sleepless nights and all the hard work and everything that my parents have done for me ever since I was a little girl have finally paid off, and that at least my music has been heard. I I don't care if it doesn't get an award or. I don't care about the prizes within it as long as it's heard and people feel something. That's my true goal. And you're doing something that you want to do and that you love. Yeah. So with that being said, with Colorblind getting the inspiration from that, from the Paris attack, where did you get the inspiration and where did it come from for your song Paradise? And specifically the lyrics, you're like my favorite song. So Paradise is a love song and I wrote that when I was in grade 11 and obviously when you're in high school you have crushes and you see other relationships around you. So for me, um, yeah, there was, you know, those specific crushes that you're thinking about and I'm writing. But I also had a very close friend of mine. Her relationship really inspired me, them two together. But And the words that you asked me about, you're, you're like my favorite song. Uh, in grade 11, I love Cody Simpson. So when I say you're like my favorite song, dancing in my room, singing la di da la di da was one of his, like, new songs. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, let's add that in there. <laughs> So for Paradise then, it was featured on the Family Channel. What was it like to have your song and your voice heard and seen on national television? I remember I was sitting downstairs with my parents in the basement. We were just watching TV. And then we, the way it's set up, they call you and they say, okay, this is the date that is going to air. And you're all like, okay, yeah, we're ready. And then all of a sudden, uh, my friend, she texts me and she's like, Alexi, go turn on the TV. And I'm like, okay. So I, I'm like, I put the channel on, whatever, and then I see myself, and I'm like, is this real life? Like, what? And my parents, like, I'm just looking at them, and they're, like, in awe, and I started crying, because, like, I don't care if it's family channel. Well, that's or something anything. big. It's humongous, and then to have so many, I have little girls, and even people my age that are saying, you you're, you're doing a fantastic job. We love the message you're sending out. We love that you're staying true to the kind of artist you want to be. It's just, it just pushes me even more. So you knew it was coming on TV, though? Yeah. It was like... You just didn't know when? I just didn't, I hadn't, they didn't say what time or anything. So it was very unexpected, that part. So with that being said, now with her first ever original hit song, here is Alexi Kuto singing Paradise on 96.9 Radio Humber. You're, you're the one I think about Even when I close my eyes Can't sleep at night Holding hands, walking down the long, long aisle Wearing a big white dress It's a dream I must confess It's been a while since I saw the I feel Taking the leap on what I know ain't cheap I know I'm smiling from what's right in front of me Heart skips a beat every time you look at me, baby I start to laugh with those funny jokes Then I realize I'm in paradise You're, you're like my favorite song Dance around my room singing la di da Just when you think, oh, it couldn't get better A baby walks in and spins me around It's been a while since I ever felt this way I know, I know you're the one for me I know I'm smiling from 
what's right in front of me Heart skips a beat every time you look at me Baby, I start to laugh with those funny jokes Then I realize I'm in paradise The first time we talked It was so unreal And if you're gone My heart will still hold you Won't let you go So no I'm smiling for what's right in front of me Heart skips a beat every time you look at me Baby, I start to laugh with those funny jokes Then I realize I know I'm smiling from what's right in front of me Heart skips a beat every time you look at me Baby, I start to laugh with those funny jokes Then I realize I'm in paradise Beautiful lyrics and a true inspiration. That was Paradise. We're live with Alexi Kuto on 96.9 Radio Humber. Don't go anywhere because we have more of Alexi and another performance. I'm Nicholas Fiore. You are listening to Unsigned on 96.9 Radio Humber. We are back with Alexi Kuto for Unsigned on 96.9 Radio Humber. Alexi, that was just awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, like in the YouTube video for the song Life, as that was Paradise, one of your main hits, your very first one you really came out with and you blew out, you around 26, I think, thousand on, on YouTube, correct? I'm yep, correct? Yep. Around 26,000 on YouTube, you got views. Now, for the song Life, you talked about dedicating it to your cousin. Can you talk about the relationship that you have with her? So for that, um, it was around her birthday, and I was like, I know, like, she loves music as much as I do. She's a dance girl, so she's always saying, Lexi, can you sing this, or can you play this, and I'll dance to it kind of thing. So I was like, okay. But um, this, I was like, hmm, you know, besides a present, I want to give her something that I know she really will appreciate. So I'm like, I'm going to write a song. So... This song is about, you know, jumping in to life and, you know, having that person that you can go through those big ups and downs with and you know that they're always going to be there for you. So me and her, our relationship is, we're like this. Ever since uh, she was a little girl, um, she would always stay by my side and we're six years apart, so um, there is a big gap there, but we still act like age is not anything with us we're just two you know loving cousins and like we tell each other anything so the emotional bond we have too is is really really strong so that's what also helped me write the song because I know exactly how she would want to be feeling and this song was for her to help her get through high school so it was really good that um, she always opens up to me so I know just what she wanted to hear going into high school. Well, like you said, she's six years younger. I mean, she, she's probably looking at you and saying, all the success you're having so far, she looks up to you. Like, don't you think for sure? Well, that's what everyone says, so I'd like to think so. <laughs> now, for all your fans and the listeners, can you explain your music? I'm going to give you in five words for the listeners who haven't heard your music yet. Okay, so... It might be hard in five words, but yeah. can you explain very simple in like a sentence or so? I think I can... You know, do the five words part. Um, about, you know, emotional, for sure. Um, passion. I'm going to say pop because I'm a pop artist. Um, very descriptive. I know that my lyrics, I love to, you know, make sure there's lots of adjectives to describe everything, you know, and make sure the emotions connect well with people. And... Something everyone always tells me when they hear me, 
not every artist may think, you know, they're going to believe everyone, but everyone always tells me they're like, it's different. You have a different sound. So, yeah. Now, if you can open up for any artist right now, who would it be and why? I'm going to say Demi Lovato. Why? <laughs> She right now is my idol, like, she's working on the whole women empowerment, and I'm working with that as well. I have something coming up where, um, in Mississauga, I will be with some students from some schools, and it's just going to be a girls' night, and we're talking about working towards success and being young women and how we can, you know, conquer anything that we believe in. Now, another great song of yours is Reach, a true touching song about challenges you face in your life's journey. Tell us about what and who inspired you to write this certain song. This song I wrote right after high school, and I wrote it because throughout high school, well, it was basically, I would say the last year, because grade 12, everyone is getting ready to go to university college, and they're ready to, you know, start their journey towards their career, or their goal, or their dream. And my dream has always been to become a singer-songwriter and to be heard all over the world. And I did have a few people, and most of them being teachers, that told me I could not get to where I wanted to be. And that was something I was like, wow, a teacher telling me this. So it really did hurt, but um, throughout it all, I had my parents, my family, and my close friends telling me, you don't have to listen to that. You have everything that it takes to do what you want to do. And right after high school, I got signed with the ma management so that really pushed me and said, huh, I can reach my goal. I can do this. So this song will touch everybody who is going through a tough time and has been told they're not good enough. With another great inspiration original song, this is Alexi Kuto with Reach on 96.9 Radio Humber. I've been told my head's messed up because my dream's too big. It's clear to see the world thinks less of what one feels they can achieve. Said I've been there and done that I can't go back. Everyone's holding down when they can stand out. Looking in the mirror, can't fake it now. This is life, not war. So, what are we fighting for? Give them your heart, your soul. One shot, one life to reach your goal. Look at you and all they see is impossible and not meant to be. But who are they to judge my life and say what I can do? Oh, oh, said I've been there and done that. I can't go back. Everyone's holding down, making stand out. Looking in the mirror, can fake it now. This is life, not war, so what are we fighting for? Give them your heart, your soul, one shot, one life to reach, oh. Why don't we do what we just love and get the same results so I'll never know? And you said you've been there, and you said you've done that, but why? Looking in the mirror, can fake it now. This is life, now war. So what are we fighting for? Give them your heart, your soul. One shot, one life to. Looking in the mirror, can fake it now. This is life, now war. So what are we fighting for? Give them your heart. Your soul, one shot, one life to reach your goal.
a true heartfelt song from Alexi Kuto as we are live on 96.9 Radio Humber. That was great, Alexi. Another original, <laughs> and you're doing great. That's awesome. Thank you. That's Alexi Kuto on 96.9 Radio Humber. Alexi, thank you so much for doing this as we all appreciate thank it. Thank you so much for having me. This was an incredible time, and I loved being here. I'm Nicholas Fiore, and that's Unsigned on 96.9 Radio Humber.